Hi, my name is Chad Kresser from Sandusky, Ohio, otherwise known as the home of Cedar Point. And I gotta tell you, the hardest part about this contest was keeping the time limits. I have a lovely wife, two perfect young boys, Clayton and Aiden. I'm a high school teacher and the boys and girls head track coach. And an aspiring young filmmaker. I started making movies when I was just a kid on Super 8 film. My biggest influences in film were Star Wars, which I saw at a very young age, and Raiders of the Lost Ark, which I saw in theaters 12 times. And I'm not just saying that. I got together with a friend of mine to come up with some ideas for the lot. And I thought to myself, why not make a short film about some guys who get together to come up with ideas for a short film? That kind of evolved into what if a certain great Hollywood director had entered a million dollar movie contest when he was in college. Sit back and enjoy the show. Another film competition? What is this? Come on, Steve. You know girls don't like that kind of stuff. Quint, there's a million dollar prize. You know what we could do with that kind of money? Get Harry on the phone. We're going to his house tonight. The well and his pizza where cold beer and cool people meet. Harry, what do you know? Steve's on another one of his movie kicks. He wants to help him come up with ideas. Why don't you guys come over to my place? Seven o'clock. I've had the best idea for an alien movie for the longest time. The catch would be... They're friendly. Friendly aliens? I don't know about that, bro. Just picture this, all right? These aliens send subliminal messages to people all around the country, and they come together to this big sort of meeting. Well, I guess it would work if it was like a pizza delivery guy, and while he was on this delivery, he got abducted. They started doing these freako weirdo experiments on him and stuff. I don't know. Wait a minute, Harry. How are we gonna get some babes involved in this? Huh? Okay, somehow the government is involved, and it's a big cover up, and they're working with the aliens. Where do the people go? Like a landmark. Somewhere in the mountains or something. Mountains? If we even get any babes, we're gonna be all bundled up. I'm not gonna be able to see a thing. Dude. And if the government was involved, they cut the pizza guy right off. Dude! Dude! Never mind that idea. Try this. There's this college professor who's an archaeologist. But he's not an old guy, he's a young guy. And he actually goes out and finds the stuff he talks about. Why a professor? Why not a, a, a pizza delivery guy? Who delivers this pizza to this old guy. And he sees this treasure map. So he gets it. He solves the mystery. The mystery of what? He's an expert in antiques, so he knows exactly what he's looking for. He's a smart guy and a hero. And a womanizer. Kind of like James Bond or something. Because wherever James goes, he gets the girl. Or <laughs> the girls. Okay. That was my best idea anyway. Let's say there's an alien spaceship that's visiting Earth and, I don't know, doing whatever aliens do. And they have to leave in a hurry, and they leave one of the aliens behind. Yeah, and he goes on a massive killing no, spree. No, no, no killing. He's, he's got to get home, and a family befriends him and helps him get home. Dude, quit it with a friend of the aliens. No one's going to want to see that. No, 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 no. It'd be like a family movie. Three kids and a mom, and the Miller boy and the alien kind of connect. They're both outsiders in a way. I guess it would work if the older brother was a... A pizza delivery guy, and he took the alien to work with him one day. Turn here. I don't know. If the mom was really hot. She had really forget big... it. No, just forget it. You guys are no help. Dude, whoa. We're just trying to take your lame old ideas and make them a little gnarlier. Yeah, man. If it wasn't for me and Harry over here, who knows you would even be right now? Uh, you know what? You guys are right. It's all right, man. This is cool, don't worry about it. Okay, this is my last great idea, and I think it's gonna work for the both of you. There's this beach town, and it's peak summer season. But this summer, something's gonna go totally wrong. There's a giant killer shark. He goes around killing everybody. And there's a sheriff who's scared of the water, but ironically has to go out and fight off the shark. And, since it's a beach, there could be all kinds of girls in bikinis. I like it! And, there could be a snack shack on the beach, where there's a guy who sells pizzas by the slice, and everybody would love him. Whoa, whoa, wait a tick. 
How we can do this shark thing? We could break something up. You know, like a prop. That would never work. Hey, now I'm thinking of it, it's never gonna work in the water. Never. It's gonna sink. Short circuit. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe I should just go back to English and become a teacher after all. <laughs>